Who here has ever found the process of finding a potential mate to be difficult? For everyone in the room thinking yes, I wholeheartedly agree. Behind me, I have a picture of Andrea Pejic, a beautiful model who you'd think would never have any trouble finding someone to reproduce with. Something you may not know about Andrea is that in 2013, she underwent gender confirmation surgery. Now, I'd like you to imagine a world where sex change wasn't the exception, but the rule. Imagine we were all going to change sex at some stage. But what if we had no control over when? Well, this is what it's like for Barramundi. Every fish will mature first as male and later sex change to female. But we have no way to predict this change and it makes breeding Barramundi very tricky. Now in aquaculture, we don't breed based on beauty. We breed fish for sustainable and economic traits like fast growth rate, low feed consumption, and high protein content. Our goal is to start selectively breeding barramundi for these traits, just like we've done in chickens, cattle, and crops. The problem is that it is impossible for fish farmers to maintain stable, compatible breeding pairs when males don't stay male, and there's no way to predict or control when they become female. So my PhD looks at how and why sex change occurs in barramundi so that we can monitor and manipulate the process. What we have found is that instead of having sex chromosomes like in you and I, barramundi are epigenetically controlling their sex. Epigenetics literally translates to above the genes and integrates marks on top of the DNA that can act as on and off switches for specific traits. We developed a test to analyze these epigenetic marks in barramundi and showed that when the fish are male, the female genes are effectively switched off. As they grow larger, these epigenetic marks are removed and the female genes are switched on. This internal switch results in a complete transition of the gonad from testes to ovary. So this knowledge allowed us to monitor the sex change process, but we were still looking for that method of sex control. Fortunately, epigenetic switches are highly responsive to the environment. So we set up an experiment to show that barramundi will change sex earlier when kept in warm water, but stay male longer if kept cold. By simply changing the water temperature, we can manipulate these epigenetic sex switches and enable our barramundi farmers to keep their breeding pairs reproductively compatible. As you can imagine, being able to choose when you would like your sex change would make reproducing with your partner a little bit easier. And in aquaculture, it will help us to selectively breed barramundi and help create the world's most sustainable source of protein. Thank you.